Welcome back to more of my Armadillos franchise here on Madden 20. Last episode, we took down the Chicago Bears 24-17, and today we have a breakout player challenge. Those are always really exciting. But before I really begin this video, if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, and if you're looking forward to some more Madden 20 content throughout the year, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you guys back for my next upload. Also, if you end up enjoying this video in particular, I would greatly appreciate it if you could leave a like down below. Today, we have to take on the Minnesota Vikings, staying in the same division as last week, but let's obviously... Start this breakout player challenge for Emmanuel Hall. I think he is going up to star development. Pretty sure he currently has normal. This is certainly doable. 100 plus yards or 2 plus touchdowns. Honestly, either of those we can get done. We can probably even get them both done. But let me scout some players really quickly. And then we'll do some other stuff. I'd like to point this out that I'm actually making this video on a new computer. I'm not sure how this is going to affect anything. It might not even look much different for you guys, but hopefully the whole video making process is a bit easier on my end because my old computer kept lagging. The audio would get unsynced every once in a while and have to resync it up. It was very annoying to edit. Hopefully this eliminates all that. But now let's upgrade some players. We have a few upgrade points to use. Steve Murphy, Blake Childress each have one. Steve Murphy, I want you to fit this scheme. Let's go to Run Stopper. He's still not going to fit this scheme. That's fine though. One to play rec, pursuit, and two to tackling. Okay. His stats are pretty good. He's very strong. Actually, a really good looking player. And then Blake Childress, our starting center. He isn't really all that good at pass blocking. His run block finesse isn't good. His run block isn't great in general. I'm going to go into pass blocking, though. I feel like he lets up a lot of sacks. Hopefully, we can try to fix that a little bit. One to awareness, pass block finesse, and pass block power. Not what I wanted, but it's whatever. We have two players returning from injury Anthony Walker Jr. and Josh Adams. I really don't think either of them will make much of a difference unless other players get injured, but Kanan Riley will still be the number one running back, even though I already know what his development is. I'm not going to reveal it in case you guys didn't watch last week's episode. If you didn't watch that one, go ahead and watch it, but there was a breakout player challenge for Kanan Riley. I won't tell you if I got it or not, but you can figure that out by watching the video. And then on defense, you know, Anthony Walker, our backup middle linebacker, is back to play okay so this is the team of course if you guys haven't been watching for a little while maybe you don't know exactly who's on the roster anymore or kind of changes i made but that's the team speaking of rosters though let's check out the vikings one kirk cousins is still the quarterback here for the vikings their running back is dalvin cook he is going to probably give us a ton of problems today he's one of the best running backs in the nfl he's so good lawrence thomas at fullback adam thielen stefan diggs fantastic wide receiver duo Drops off pretty significantly after that, though. We're just going to have to be looking out for the top two guys there. Kyle Rudolph is a good pass catcher there at tight end. Irv Smith Jr. is also not bad. Riley Reef starting at left tackle isn't too good. Pat Elfline at left guard. Garrett Bradbury at center. Josh Klein at right guard. And Brian O'Neill at right tackle. So not that good of an offensive line. Hopefully we can take advantage of that. Daniil Hunter is fantastic here at left end. Everson Griffin is also good at right end. But they have Floyd Leach, a rookie 78 overall. I guess to replace Everson Griffin once Griffin retires. Linval Joseph and Armin Watts at defensive tackle. Anthony Barr at left outside linebacker. Eric Kendricks, 79 overall. I'm pretty sure he's like an 86 or something like that now. He had a great season in real life, but I guess he wasn't updated that far when I made this uh, franchise. Najee Harris right behind him. Ben Gideon starting at right outside linebacker. Xavier Rhodes, Levi Wallace, Holton Hill at corner. Mike Hughes is also down there. Curtis Riley at free safety. Harrison Smith, an X-Factor here at strong safety. Greg Joseph, the kicker. And Jordan Matlock, the punter. Okay, so this team doesn't really seem... That's strong. I definitely think we can give them some trouble here. Take a look at the division really quickly. So the Texans are running away with it here. The bottom three teams are all 6-6. Six and six. So those last few weeks are going to be really big for us if we want to make a playoff push. On first down, they had a nice run to Dalvin Cook. I just kind of brain farted and didn't say anything. Uh, but second down and one here. This is going to be a play action. We called a blitz though. And we got back there. Urbashevsky. Let's go. I'm not sure what sack number that is for you on this season, but you're having a pretty good season. I've called your name out a ton, which is awesome. He was a great draft pick for us, but third down and nine now. We're going to guess pass. They're definitely going to pass the football. I don't think they... Okay, right when I say that, they actually run a draw. That works. Oh my... I can't believe that. I jinxed that so hard. Why would they run a draw? <laughs> I guess that's why, because I, they didn't expect that I would expect it, which was very well done on their end. They ran another draw on third down. That time it didn't work. Third and 13, they go with a draw. What kind of conservative play calling is this? Oh, second down. This is a great run play, though. That's probably coming back for holding. Great start to the game. So Quentin Nelson was the one holding. I expect better from the best player on the team. We're going to run the ball, though, on second down and 20. I was going to try to pass that one there, but I don't know. I didn't want to take a sack. I don't like calling that play. I actually didn't really fully mean to. And now we are in a third and 21 situation. 
And we're going to be looking for Dawson Knox, I guess. Let's see if maybe the left side of the field can get cleared out a little bit here. I stepped up into that sack. I didn't see anybody open. That was great coverage. And Leach, the rookie, comes in there. His fifth sack on the year. He's actually probably like the rush defensive tackle or something. Maybe the second one. Because the backup defensive tackle wasn't too strong for this team. But third and eight now. They are finally not calling a draw. It's going to be a pass play, and we pick it off here with Blake Cashman. Who has some room to run. He has some speed, but he cannot return it too far. Let's go. 21-yard line will be where we start with the football. His fifth pick on the year. Blake Cashman is a freak. I think slants can work pretty well here. Nikhil Carlay is who I'm going to be looking at. Let me wait a second. I think he's going to be open. There we go. Nikhil Carlay. I tried to juke. Couldn't really get the animation off. Eric Kendricks was there too quickly, but we picked up the first down. And finally, McCamus is in positive yardage. I hope those linebackers blitz, because if they do, the slant here to Kanan Riley is going to be wide open. They are blitzing. I'm going to throw it to Kanan Riley. Kind of playing a slot receiver position there. I like it. He's a good receiver, though, so it makes sense. Manuel Hall here for the first down. I forgot that we're doing a breakout player challenge with him. Let's try to get him a little bit more involved. I actually genuinely forgot about that. Maybe we can try to look for Emmanuel Hall on this play. I usually like these wheel routes. Actually, A is wide open. I'd be dumb not to take that. Paris Campbell. Oh, my Lord. Gets bullied. Absolutely slammed by Harrison Smith. I got to be wary of that. Harrison Smith flying across the middle is not something I want to run into. That was definitely on me. I should have tried to avoid that tackle a little bit better. What? Where the, why did I? Okay. That hit stick did not work. This is going to be a run play. 100% a run play. We're going to blitz up the middle. It's actually a play action. This is going to be a sack, though, I think, on Kirk Cousins. Darius Leonard, our X Factor here on defense, gets back there for the sack. Love to see that. Third and nine. Are they going to call a draw again? It looks like they're in the formation for it. It's not a draw. Okay, it's the same play I picked off before. This time it's getting completed, but it won't be a first down. He also targeted a different receiver than last time. I called this play before, and I couldn't get the pass off. Let's see if we can get this one off here. I'm actually going to block Cannon Riley. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to take off with McCamus. I don't really like any of the receiver options. I saw A open right at the end. Right when I started scrambling, there is no way I was getting that throw to him, though. I think this is good go-for-it territory, to be honest. So let's line up for that. I really would like to run the football here, but there's no way it works. It should work, though. It definitely should work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust it. Probably stupid of me to do this. Is that, I think that's a first down. Okay, that was extremely close. We got it, though. Oh, my. Okay, thanks for not catching that one. Hit you directly in the face. He didn't even go up for it. It, just, it didn't look like he was even prepared for that ball, but all right. Make this catch, Paris Campbell. You're not going to. It was a little bit... It was a little bit in front of Paris Campbell, I think. It said that was an accurate pass, but I don't know about that one. I thought Campbell had a bit of leverage there against Holton Hill, but didn't seem like it did. This looks kind of open to me. At least, like, I would throw this pass again. Because it's, it's only, like, one-on-one -on -one coverage here. Like, yeah, you have Harrison Smith coming over the top, probably about to kill you. But as of now, if this throw gets there and I can possession catch it in time, that would be a nice completion. Actually, Holton Hill just runs in front of him. Yeah, that's not the best throw of all time. That was also not a good decision. Let me, let me just say it as it is. Probably wasn't the best decision. I should have thrown that a little bit earlier. Man, I... <laughs> Alright, well... We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. I keep Maybe if I say that enough, I'll actually get better at the game. Let's make the stop here in third down and three. They are going empty backfield. Oh, this is open down the sidelines. A missed tackle and Stefan Diggs will probably score this touchdown. He will. Man, our safety, Kari Willis, I believe that was, tried to come up. He just smacked the camera. What are you doing? Find this man. The price of that camera. He just broke the lens. <laughs> no, I don't know, but <laughs> I feel bad for that cameraman. He just got assaulted. Yeah, Kari Willis just completely missed the tackle there. A little unfortunate there, but uh, definitely not the first safety to miss a tackle on Stefan Diggs for a touchdown. Is that too soon? Probably a bit too soon, considering the Saints just lost yesterday, too. Or yesterday for me, not yesterday for when this video is going up. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't get, don't kill me, Saints fans. I'm just making jokes, alright? This is excellently blocked. Let's go. Kanan Riley, get to the edge. You can't do it, but it's okay. You still got 14 yards. If he had a good juke move, I would have tried it. But there's no chance he was getting past that player. 
Manuel Hall across the middle on another slant, almost picking up another first down. He's off to a pretty good start this game. He's like 3 for 30, I'd want to say. And maybe we can try to hit him here. I like second down on one deep shots. I really do, but this play never works for me. Let's try it, though. Yeah, I couldn't get the throw off. Also, probably holding. Every week, I tell myself not to call that play. And every week, I just think about the upside of the play and just forget about how bad it actually is for this team to call. I really got to just start thinking about the past <laughs> and not just living in the moment. I'm going to loft that one to Emmanuel Hall. This should be a first down. It's going to be. There we go. Great speed there by Hall to break away from whoever was covering him. On his way to his fourth catch. Okay. He's definitely on pace for this uh, challenge. I think we can get it done. There we go. Caden Riley up the middle. Don't get killed by Harrison Smith. Oh, I, I should have went down. I got to remember that. I'm not used to playing against like X-Factors on defense with that kind of hit power. I do have to get used to, to like falling down or just avoiding him at all costs. Again, such a stupid play call. I, I called... Oh, mm, my God. Okay. Yeah, that was not the right play call. What am I doing? All right. It's P-A-Y glance. I was trying to look for the tight end. That play's usually pretty open, so I felt comfortable throwing that... Or calling that in, like, a third and short situation. But then the tight end got covered. I thought I'd at least be able to scramble. That was my second option, but then I tried to do that, and I couldn't do it. Then I kind of, like, sat in the pocket. Not in the pocket, but I sat between the tacklers for a little while trying to find somebody and the rest of the players were on streaks it's just so stupid i swear sometimes i play madden but what happened oh false start okay they didn't even call the flag that was weird but sometimes i just play the game by just choosing a play and then audibling i'm sure you guys noticed this i pretty much do it all the time i always just choose another defensive play and then audible i think the reason i do this it doesn't really seem to be a thing anymore but in previous maddens it was like the other team oh that's actually a great effort there by kyle rudolph but that could be coming back let me pause my story for a second. Illegal block in the back. What a bad time for that. Wait, that's a safety. Oh, I forgot about that. Let's go. <laughs> Let me continue that story, though. In previous Maddens, it seemed like whenever you played on all Madden, against certain teams at least, they would just call, like, the absolute perfect defense or perfect offensive play to combat whatever you called. So I would always just call the play and then just audible it immediately. Just because I'm trying to like screw over the defense. That's just kind of how I've always played Madden and it's still going to be there for a while. But this is a fantastic run play to Kanan Riley. Let's spin. Oh my lord. The slowest spin move I have ever seen. I swear a snail could probably spin faster. But it's okay. Kanan Riley picking up great yardage there. I'm never calling that PAY glance play again. And if I ever do, I, I need to audible. There's no chance that play is ever going to work. B is open. There we go. We got the pass away. Good blocking downfield. Emmanuel Hall can't outrun everybody. That's fine, though. He's having a great first half. I'm not even, like, really just trying to feed him because of his challenge. He just is getting open today. He's having a great first half, genuinely. That was a bad front to run against. Probably should have audibled, but at least we picked up about three. But, yeah, like, I feel even if Emmanuel Hall didn't have this challenge right now, he'd probably be still having these same stats. He's just getting open. He seems to be the more open receiver nearly every time. I'm going to try to streak Dawson Knox and get a little interesting. Now, I don't like that. I was going to throw it to him, but I'm actually going to check that one down. A bit of a check down here to two to kill Carlay. And once again, I juked into Harrison Smith. Need to not do that. I'm never going to not do that, though. I just, I can't. That's, I always juke. Doesn't matter who the player is. I don't care if it's Harrison Smith. I literally just always juke. I need to not, though. That's a big thing. I just need to not. I think Y is going to be open in the end zone here for the touchdown he was but Paris Campbell drops the football oh what a play there by Harrison Smith we lost seven I figured you know our guy could block him or something but that didn't happen dude this team this Vikings team is very good man this sucks I should say their defense is very good their defense is giving me a lot of trouble Harrison Smith is now in the zone Dawson Knox is who I'm looking at here can you get open yes you can wide open catch this didn't want to hit any buttons to mess it up. Dawson Knox was very, very open in the end zone. And we just make this a nine-point turn because of that penalty. There we go. Nine to seven will now be the score. Oh, Dalvin Cook's very open to this side of the field. A lot of room to run after the catch. Nobody was in front of him really at all, man. That was a big gain to let up there. They're going to take a timeout, though, but after hurrying up, so they wasted like 10 more seconds than they probably should have. Let's actually pressure Kirk Cousins here. I feel like I haven't called a blitz in a little while. See if we can get back there. 
We cannot get back there, and Stefan Diggs runs a great route there against, I think that's McVicker. I usually go ahead and switch the corners, but I kind of want McVicker covering Stefan Diggs. I think that's a good matchup. He had that big touchdown earlier, but that really wasn't on McVicker because he was playing his correct zone. That's going to be a sack there. Who's that? It is Taekwon Lewis. He has to be up there for, you know, the sack leader on our team. He is having a really, really good season. I love to see that, but second and 17 now. I don't want to call a cover two. I did not mean to. I meant to audible that to a three. B what? Huh? Where did? Why did it like just glitch my player away? Hold on. I am I? Am I like on something right now? Or what happened? I'm definitely not seeing things. Look at that. Why did it do that? I like ran it to try to like hit stick him right as he caught it, and it just bumps my player away so far. Look at this. What am I supposed to do? What? <laughs> like, come on, man. Maybe I got there a little early. I don't think I did. I thought I, I was trying to time it really well. I'm usually pretty good at timing stuff like that, but it just bumped them away. Like, watch this in real time. Like, what, what was I supposed to do to that? That's stupid. They did the same thing again. Like, they hurried up and then took the timeout. Kind of wasted a play. They had about 20 seconds left. They may have been able to take a timeout and then taken a shot to the end zone, but then if it's caught outside of the end zone, that's probably the end of the half. I still think it's worth the shot. We actually almost blocked that. I think that was like an animation for us to block it. I just didn't time it right. All right, here we go. The start of the second half, a very close game. 10-9, to 9, the Vikings have a really small lead. Hopefully, though, we can at least get a field goal in this drive, get back out on top. But we played pretty well in the first half. I threw a really stupid interception I should not have thrown. That's usually what the interceptions are with McCamus, but we did pick off Kirk Cousins once. Our defensive line generated a good bit of pressure. I like our odds in this game, even though we are losing. But here we go. Let's start off in the second half. Look for Dawson Knox there. He should be open. I'm going to try to possession catch that one. I went for it. The animation did not finalize, though, and Knox cannot come up with it. I just realized I pronounced his name like Knox. <laughs> Dawson Knox? <laughs> he could not come up with it. I'm going to look for Dawson Knox across the middle. I kind of want to slant him. I'm going to do that, because if that free safety blitzes down, I think I'll have Riley open. Again, our running back is in there, which is funny. He's not blitzing down. Knox is wide open here. He's not going to pick up the first down, though. That pass should have been led a little bit more upfield, and I don't feel comfortable going for it right now, even though our fullback dive has been so, you know, consistent. I don't want to risk a turnover now. It's a really bad spot to go for it, because if they get the ball back, they have, like, no field to go. They're pretty much already in field goal range. I tried to turn around in time. I definitely did not. Like, I saw that play concept developing. I was going to try to bait me going all the way over to the flats and then come back, but it didn't work. But second and one, I feel like now it's going to be a run play. Same situation they were just in. It's not a run play again. It's going to be more slants. And Stefan Diggs getting open, getting past everybody, breaking out of every single tackle attempt, and he has a touchdown. Oh, my Stefan Diggs. After the catch, he is a monster, man. Jeez. He broke three tackles on his way there to the end zone. His fifth receiving touchdown on the year. He's having a crazy game. There we go. Nikhil Carlay can't come down with it. Man, really? I thought I waited enough time for that one. That was his second drop of the game as well. Come on, Carlay. He's supposed to be our number one receiver. What are you doing? That looks like a great punt, though. Oh, my. Down at the one. Jeez. Can we get another safety? Come on, man. I think we got this. I'm not run committing, though. Actually, yeah, I will run commit. In this sense, I'm going to run commit. If there's a receiver out wide, I wouldn't have. But I'm going to run commit here. It's a fullback dive. They're actually going to pick up some yards on that, though. They got one. This looks like another run. I'm not going to run commit, though, just because it's third down. If we don't get the safety, I just don't want them to get this. All right, so they didn't get the first down, but we did not get a safety. Unfortunate, but it's fine. We'll get the ball back here again with really good field position. And maybe even a you know a chance to return it. TJ Logan's been a good punt returner this year. I should have went for a block. I'll go for the return instead of the block. That was a great punt, though, from his own end zone. TJ Logan going to reverse field here. Let's go, TJ. He's extremely fast. He can get around all these guys. He can't spin by, though, number 52. But we have, you know, excellent field position here at the 38-yard line. No, A is wide open. There we go. Dawson Knox across the middle. The play he scored on earlier, or just the same route he scored on earlier. I don't know if the entire play was the same. There we go. Great running here by Kanan Riley. Meeting Harrison Smith quite well there. Over 100 for Riley today. Maybe his best game as an armadillo. He's also pretending to hold the ball, and it just teleported back in his, in his arm like an Enderman. Okay. 
I don't really like the pass here. I feel like Campbell's going to get bumped. But I don't like the run either, so we're going to go with it. Paris Campbell scores the touchdown. There we go. He did get bumped a little bit, but he was, you know, able to react in time to catch the pass. And we are now going for the two-point conversion. We have TJ Logan in the backfield. I trust him a lot more to actually pick this up. They shift around their defensive line a little, but I'm still going to run this. That's an easy two-point conversion there for TJ Logan. The score is now 17-17. Somebody get back there. Somebody will. It's Darius Leonard again. His second sack today. His third tackle. Let's go, man. Darius Leonard's a freak. They're going with another draw play here on third down. It will not work this time. That's our third time trying that, and Dalvin Cook is down. So Madison will have to come in and be the starting running back if Dalvin Cook, you know, can't play anymore today. Manuel Hall again open for that first down. I think that solidifies his challenge as well. If he didn't get it last time, you know, he certainly has it now. 10 catches for 105 yards. There we go. Having a great game. But now, let's focus on winning the football game. You know, Kanan Riley here on first down. Getting some great blocking downfield. Let's go, Kanan. Down to the 16-yard line. 137 yards on the ground for him today. Showed some excellent vision. Making a case for, you know, to be the potential starter next year. It's not going to happen. I still want to get a different running back, but he's still having a great game today. I can't deny that. Oh, my God. What a play. How do you read it that well? That pisses me off so much. That should have been open. Levi Wallace is not that good. There we go. We're going to stop Madison here once again. He ran the ball in first down for nothing. Runs the ball there in second down. Loses two. And Darius Leonard stays in the zone here. His fourth tackle, he has two sacks, a tackle for a loss. He's just doing it all again. Let's see if we can get him a pick or something. Maybe make him defensive player of the week. That's a screen pass. I'm going to try to get back there with Darius Leonard. He seems a little tired. He seems really slow right now. All right, can I please not throw an interception on this drive? That would be nice. Going to run the ball here on second down. Again, good blocking by the offensive line. That's something they've done really well today. They run blocked super well today. Pass blocking, not as much. But run blocking, I was impressed by Third down and six, though. Let's see if we can get this first. I'm going to throw it to Paris Campbell. Can he make this catch? No, he can't. Probably wasn't my best option. I saw that he had a bit of an advantage over there, but he can't come down with it. They called this play earlier in the game, too. I did the same exact thing then. I bit on the play action to the player running across. Because I feel like, you know, normally teams don't call the play action. They typically just call, you know, the end around there. All right, well, third down and two. Can we make a big play? I'm going to pinch the middle. I feel like this is a run play. It's the same thing, and I did the same exact thing again. Because <laughs> every time they call it, I think to myself, there's no way they fake it again, right? Of course, they fake it again, but at least we stopped them there. Now, this has been a good one so far. 17 to 17, both defenses doing well. Let's see if we can get a drive together, though. Running the ball here on first down with Kane and Riley, picking up some more positive yardage. I'm going to loft that one to Y. Can he make the play? No, he can't. There's a flag. Is it holding? Pass interference on the defense. Wow. All right, I'll accept that one. I didn't expect to get that call, but let's go. Another good run there by Cannon Riley. Just continuing his dominant day, man. 157 yards on the ground. All scoreless, though, which is... Unfortunate for him. I called that same play. I said I wouldn't call anymore. That's audible. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That was another one of those situations where I just called a play. A is going to be open. I'm going to possession catch it, though. Go down. Hold on to the football. There we go, Dawson Knox. Let's take a step back a little bit here. I mean, a touchdown would be nice, but if we can just get a field goal by chipping away at the clock, I'll be fine. Run the ball up the middle. Great blocking again. I was going to try to go down with Kane and Riley. I went for the animation. It didn't actually trigger, though. But another first down on this drive. He now has 500 yards on the season as well. There, Kobe Laws across the middle. Go down. Okay, I did not want to die to Harrison Smith there. <laughs> I tried to go down. I think, again, the animation wasn't really there. I think I did it a little bit too late. All right, it's third down and five. They took one of their timeouts. So the clock has stopped right now in a minute and 12 seconds. I'm actually going to pass the football, see if we can pick up this first. We should have it here. We are going to have the first down and even more. We score a touchdown. With Emmanuel, no, that's Nikhil Carlay. My mistake. Keep getting my, my players' names mixed up. I think that's his 10th receiving touchdown on the year as well. Nice job, Carlay. 
Now our defense just has to hold them. They have a lot of time though. A minute, nine seconds with two timeouts is a ton of time left. And they need a touchdown. All right, defense, here we go. Let's make a stop. Let's see if Blake Cashman can do it again. Actually, I'm going to be on it. Nasir Adderley. He's going to check this one down to the running back. No, he's not actually. He's going down. Tyquan Lewis, his second sack today. They're attempting to hurry up, preserve their timeouts, I guess. Oh, Adam Thielen was so open. I didn't know who to cover there. If I went after Thielen, the other wheel route would have been wide open. And again, they're wasting so much time before taking a timeout. But there's only 19 seconds left and they need a touchdown. They should probably start going for Hail Marys now. Did that get caught? Oh my, that got caught. But there's no time left. What? How did Stefan Diggs come down with that one? That's insane. All right, there we go. That was a nice game. 24 to 17 was the score. It was so close the entire way until we just barely took the lead there at the end. Jacob McCamus wasn't very good today, to be honest. He had 255 yards with three touchdowns, which is nice. But of course, two more stupid interceptions. I just need to stop doing things. Uh, but Kanan Riley went off today. Definitely his best game so far. 174 yards, 6.2 yards per carry. No touchdowns, but it's all right. Emmanuel Hall, 10 for 105. Definitely completed that challenge. 5 for 65 for Dawson Knox with a touchdown. Akil Carlay, 3 for 40 and a touchdown. Paris Campbell, 2 and 21 for a touchdown. Zach Fuller, letting up a lot of sacks, but that's just what he's been doing all season. I think he went up against Daniil Hunter today, so it is fair. Quentin Nelson adds to his pancake stack, though. Nine total tackles for Darius Leonard, nine for Blake Ashman as well, but four tackles for loss for Darius Leonard, along with two sacks, two for Taekwon Lewis and Urbashevsky, one interception for Blake Ashman. All right, show it to me, game. Let me see the star development for Emmanuel Hall. There it is, 10,000 experience points for him as well. He should probably get about, what, like three upgrade points or something like that for that. But let's finally advance by this week, go into week 15. Only three more weeks of the regular season left. And these last three games are going to be big. We have to take on the Texans who are 10-3 and three at the top of the division, but the other two teams in our division lost, which is nice. The Texans were playing the Titans, and it's better that the Texans won because now the Titans are even further, you know, below us, which is awesome. Hopefully, we can win this game next week and, you know, go to 8-6 and six or something. I don't know. If we can win out, it'd be cool if we go 10-6. and six. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. But until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.